Pamela. Can you hear me, Pamela? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Very good, nice. How was your day? Hi. Okay, good. Hi. Nice. Maria, how was your day? Um, I'm fine. Okay, good. I'm fine. Well, I'm, I'm tired, very, very tired. Okay, tired. 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 Yes, you say, tired. I feel tired. I, I feel tired. Okay, good. But in one hour, you will go to your bed and sleep. Right? Repeat, please. In one hour, you will go to your bed and sleep. Yes. Very good. Okay. El del Galaxy A10, ¿quién es? What's your name? My name is Ovidio. Ovidio, okay, Ovidio. Elias, Mr. Galaxy. Galaxy. Uh, the nickname. Yeah, ah, his nickname. No, no, perdón, perdón, teacher. El mío no es Galaxy, es este. Así va. Galaxy Samsung. <laughs> Aquí aparece como Galaxy A10. <laughs> es el nombre de batalla de Ovidio, Galaxy. No, el teléfono no le ha puesto así. Ok. All right, good. Um, welcome back. Um, what is today's date? Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. That is correct. Uh, what month? February. February. Yes. What date? 12th. 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 What year? 2020. Good. You can say 2020 or if you prefer 2020. Yes. Now, how do you say repaso in English? Please. Review. 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 Ahí se los pongo ahorita en el chat de la plataforma. Review. Yes. Review. Okay. Um, what did we do yesterday? What activities did we do yesterday? ¿Qué hicimos ayer en clase? Review the, the question. WH questions, yes. WH question. What's the meaning of WH? What the meaning? Yeah, what's the meaning? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué significa? What's the meaning uh, of WH? WH. What is WH? WH. Question. Uh, Words, question. Okay, words um, to make words questions. To make question. Ah. Words to make question. Yes, palabras que Para realmente lo que hace son preguntas, correcto. Can you give me examples of WH? What? 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 Why? Where? When? Who? Okay. Why, um, why, why? Yeah, why? 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 Now, why? let me ask you. If I need information about places, what WH do I need? Where. Where. Very good. 
If I need information about people, who? who? If I need information about dates, when? When, when very good. If when? I need um, information about options, which? 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 Very good. So those are WH questions. Do you have any questions about yesterday? No. No. No questions about yesterday? Okay. So our first activity is something fast. Let me see where this is. Okay, we have share, and we got this here. Okay, do you see the picture? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the name of the conversation? He works, he works in a hotel. Aha, uh -huh. he works in a hotel. Very good. How do you say trabajar in English? Work. 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 En, esta en este caso, ¿por qué es que le ponemos la S a al verbo? Que habla en tercera persona. Exactly. Because it's third person singular. Es la tercera persona singular. Pero usted le va a poner esa S solamente cuando la oración sea positiva. No cuando pregunte, no cuando niegue, sino que... Um, ¿Cómo se llama? Solo cuando está confirmando. Ok. How many people in the conversation? Five. How many people in the conversation? Two people. Two people. Yes. Now, how many people in the picture? Three. Five people. Five. Five people. Five people in the picture. Now, um, where is this? Where is this? It's the lobby. In the reception. reception. Very, very good. You can say reception or you can say lobby. Lobby. The two options are good. The two options are good. Yes. Um, what is the name of these people? Waiter. Waiter? Mm, not exactly. Manager. Ok. ¿Cómo se le llaman a los, que, a los que reciben, los que están en un hotel y le ayudan con la información o con las maletas? Secciones. Atención al cliente, fly attendant. In a hotel. ¿Cómo le llamaría usted a estos dos tipos que están ahí con el uniforme rojo? Botones. Exactly. Botones. In English, you call it bellboy. Bellboy. Los bell chicos boy. campana, por decir bell así. Boy. ¿Por qué le llamarán bellboy? Porque ah. atienden a todos los llamados de los Porque clientes. Porque tocan una campanita. Exactly, porque la campanita lo llama y por eso realmente es que le dicen bellboy. Yeah. Ya. And what color is the uniform? Red. Red. And red. Black. Okay. Black. Black. Red and black. Okay, red and black. Are they happy? No. Yeah. No, no happy. They are mad. Uh huh. What's the expression you see in his faces? Mad. In their angry. face. Serious, angry. angry. Okay. Serious in hungry. Angry. 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 Yes, angry. Angry. Yeah. Pero también, pero, pero también pueda que estén hungry. Y, pues, y quizás por eso están enojados. No, no han comido. Maybe. Yes, of course. Eso sucede en muchos lugares del trabajo. No hay ni tiempo para comer. O si lo hay, pero no se lo dan. Pero anyways. Okay. What about this man here? Give me a description about this man. 
Black hair. Black hair, yes. What else? Like suit. ¿Qué pregunto, teacher? He used suit. What and is he wearing? ¿Qué lleva puesto él? Ah. Yes, he's wearing a suit. Wearing a suit. Coat. Yes. A what suit. color is the suit? Brown. Brown. Suit. Brown. What else? A coat, a tie. Tie. Aha, uh -huh, a tie, a tie. And what's the name of this? Black suitcase. Black um, A bookcase, a suitcase. Okay. Yes, okay. Any questions about the picture? No. No? Is there any decoration in the lobby? Yes. Plants. Plants. Plants, yes. Plants is what they have for decoration. Okay. Lo leo una vez yo, ponga la atención a la pronunciación y después me pueden hacer datos voluntarios. It's like this. Where does your brother work? In a hotel? Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza? That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Por eso hay que tener cuidado lo que uno dice. <risa> La regó. Ajá. Se estaba quejando del jefe y no sabía que el hermano de la otra chica era el jefe. Sí. Ok. Um, any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? Yes, I have a question. Ok, ask me, Pamela. Um, En la pregunta que hace, que dice, how does he like it? Ajá. En la plataforma también vi eh, este ejercicio mencionando bastante esa frase. Eh, tanto para tercera persona como para primera persona. Exactly. Pero eh, no sería correcto también decir, how much does he like it? Porque how does he like it? Bueno, no sé, traducido al español no me hace mucho sentido, pero no sé la frase en inglés. Ok, how does he like it? Lo que le están preguntando ahí es, ¿qué le parece? Ah, ok. Ajá, por ejemplo, si usted me dice, fíjese que mi papá me regaló un teléfono nuevo y yo le pregunto a usted, how do you like it? Ahí le estoy preguntando que qué le parece el teléfono nuevo. Porque si usted ya le pone, how much do you like it? Es porque ya le dijo que le gusta y usted le está preguntando, ¿qué tanto le gusta? Tanto? Uh -huh. So, in this case, how do you like it? Es la pregunta inicial para sacar la opinión de qué es lo que le parece. ¿Cómo le parece? Ah, ok. Para que le diga si le gusta o no le gusta. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yes. Thank you. Sure. Es como que yo, digamos de que usted, um, una persona es nueva en Santa Tecla, por decir así. Y yo le pregunto, how do you like Santa Tecla? Ahí le estoy diciendo, ¿qué le parece Santa Tecla? Okay. Yes. How do you like Santa Tecla? Uh -huh. How do you like Santa Tecla? Yes. How do you like your new car? How do you like... Um, uh, 50 cent, por decir así un ejemplo. Okay, any other questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? Manager. 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 Yes, manager. 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 Yes. Manager. What's the meaning of manager? Gerente. Gerente. Yes, manager means gerente. Any other questions? No. Está claro todo lo que está en la conversación? Yes. Okay, very good. 
¿Qué dijimos que íbamos a hacer cuando mirábamos este signo de interrogación? ¿Cuál era el tono que usted le iba a poner? Fuerte. El de una pregunta, correcto. Where does your brother work? ¿Qué dijimos que íbamos a hacer cuando mirábamos el punto? La pausa. La pausa. ¿Pausa o nos deteníamos? Nos deteníamos. Si es una coma, le vamos a poner una pausa, pero si es un punto, nos vamos a detener. ¿Y cómo dijimos que se llamaba este último signo de, de puntuación? De admiración. El signo de, en, en español decimos el signo de admiración, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Admiration. Question mark. Ok, you say exclamation. Ah, exclamation. Yes. Yeah, exclamation mark. Exactly. Exclamation mark. Yeah, exclamation mark. That is correct. Ok, so I need Rachel and I need Angela. Two women. Two ladies. Two ladies. Pamela and Maria. Ok, Pamela and Maria. Ya las pidió el público. Okay. ok, Maria, you are Rachel and Pamela is Angela. One, two, three. Okay. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel. He is a front desk agent. 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 Yes. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. The Plaza. The Plaza. The complete the Plaza. Yeah, the Plaza. The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that, that's interesting. Interesting. What? Interesting. 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 Yes. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Oh, my goodness. All right. Thank you. Okay. Si usted You're se welcome. fija, en la primer pregunta, estamos WH, do and does. WH, do and does. WH, do and does. Como usted se puede fijar, están ocupando lo que hemos estudiado, ya poniéndolo junto en una, en, in a conversation. Any questions? Una question. I have a question. Yo, yo tengo una. Yes. Ovidio. Este, dice, de, usted explicó que el das era para las terceras personas. Yes. Pero aquí, um, uh, por ejemplo, en el where does your brother work, ¿por qué? ¿Por qué es si, si no se está hablando de una persona específica, de un solo sexo? ¿Cómo no? Se está hermano. refiriendo a su hermano y su hermano sí. es he. Mm, por eso va el das. Correcto. Porque acuérdense que el das es para he, she, it. Ahora, no necesariamente usted va a ver ahí literalmente la palabra he, porque en vez de he puede ir your father, your brother, your supervisor, your son, cualquier pronombre que represente a he puede ir ahí. Que es el caso este, donde dice, what hotel does he work for? ¿O ¿Dónde era que estaba la pregunta que me dijo? Ah, en la primera. La primera, sí. Yeah, where does your brother work? Le podemos quitar your brother y ponerle directamente he. Y es prácticamente lo mismo. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sí. Okay, thank you. Very good. Any other questions? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No? No question. No question. No questions. All right. So, esto es para que vaya asimilando, poniendo todo junto lo que hemos estado estudiando, como se pone ya de una vez en una, en una conversación. Okay. So let's continue here. 
Go here. Uh -huh -huh. All right. Do you see the image? Image. Do you see the image? Yes, yes. I see. Image. Yes, see. Image, image. Is about the conversation. He works in how hotel. No. What 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 do you see on your screen? I see the conversation. He works in a hotel. Okay. Give me a second. Si sí, aquí me acaba de aparecer que dejé de compartir. Uh -huh. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Hola. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Resume share. Aquí está. Pero eso no lo necesitamos. Ok. We share, share, share. And share. Ok. Do you see the document? Yes, yes, I see. Ok. This is very similar to what we did yesterday. Her friend lives in London. La amiga de ella vive en London. ¿Qué le preguntó? La amiga puede ser, eh, como ahí no especifica qué sexo es, puede ser un hombre, puede ser una mujer. Where does she live? Where does she live? Where does he live? She live. Y si quiere ser más específico, usted va a decir, where does her friend live? What about number three? What do you... Um, what does he study? What does he study? Ok, que, que lo diga uno. A ver, ¿quién what va a decir? You, what do you do study? No, no. because the information is about third person singular. What, what, does, what does Susan study? What does Susan study? What does Susan, what does Susan study? Ajá. Uh -huh. Y si quiero quitar Susan, ¿con qué lo puedo sustituir? What does she. She, study? she, exactly. What does she study? Y le responda, Susan studies math. Ok. La número cuatro es un poquito diferente, lleva otra explicación, entonces la vamos a saltear, nos vamos a ir de un solo a la, a la, a la, a la cinco. His brother always gets up at six o'clock in the morning. What's the question? What does he brother? When? 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 What, time, what time do you get up? Okay, but it's his brother. La pregunta es acerca de él, del hermano de él. Does get up? Okay. Um, observación. When does he wake up? Ok, mire esta observación que le voy a hacer. La palabra when en inglés no solamente significa cuándo, sino que también significa a qué horas. Ahora, yo le hablo a la una de la tarde a usted a su oficina y le digo, when do you finish work? No le estoy diciendo que cuándo va a terminar de trabajar, sino que a qué horas termina de trabajar. Me explico. ¿Qué hora? Entonces, usted puede decir when, pero también puede decir what time, como usted guste. 
So his brother always gets up at six o'clock in the morning. What is the question? When does his brother get up? When does his brother get up? Yes. When does his brother get up? Or if you prefer, what time does his brother get up? Exactly. What about number six? How does Mr. Brown go to the world by night? How does the world? How does Mr. Brown Brown How go to the world? Very good. How does Mr. Brown go to work? To work. ¿Por qué a la hora de preguntar no dejo el goes como está aquí? Porque se escribe utiliza positivo. Exactly, porque usted le va a agregar la S o la ES solamente cuando es positivo. Y en ese caso estamos haciendo una pregunta, entonces se queda su forma normal. So, how does Mr. Brown go to work? Le responden, Mr. Brown goes to work by bus. What about number seven? The supermarket sells apples. What does the supermarket sell? Yes. What does the supermarket sell? What does the supermarket sell? ¿Qué vende el supermercado? Ahí en la siete le dicen. Apples. 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 What color are apples? Red. Red. Red, green, yellow. Red, green, and yellow. What is your favorite? Green, green apple. Green. Yellow. Yellow, okay. Green are delicious. Teacher. Yes, sir. ¿Cómo se dice ácido en inglés? Perdón? Ácido. Ácido, el químico o de sabor? Sabor. Sour. Sour. Yes, sour. 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 Se lo pongo ahorita en el chat del WhatsApp para que le quede escrito. Vamos a ver dónde están ustedes. Right here. Y amargo es lo mismo. No. Sour es ácido. Bitter es amargo. Bitter. Teacher. Sweet. Dulce. Ok. And spicy. Picante. Picante. Spicy. Yes. Salty. Salado. Good. Entonces todos esos son sabores que usted siente en su paladar. Uh, Alguien iba a preguntar algo. Somebody said teacher. No. No, como entonces, teacher, la número siete, ¿cómo quedaría así ya directamente? What does supermarket? What does the supermarket sell? Sell. What does the sin supermarket ese. sell? Exacto, sin ese. What okay. does the supermarket sell? Thank you, yeah. Sure, okay. Number eight, they usually travel to the countryside on holidays. What does mean countryside? Okay, what's the meaning of countryside? Significa al interior del país, la zona rural. Si digamos usted en vacación se va a San Vicente, a la Unión, a San Miguel, usted dice, I go to the countryside. Quiere decir que va al, 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 al campo. Al interior del país. Correcto, correcto. Yes. Countryside. 
Si usted separa esa palabra y solo le pone country, quiere decir país. Y side quiere decir lado. Pero si ya lo unimos, sí. quiere decir al interior del país. El interior del país. Ok. Uh -huh. So, what is the question for number eight? Number eight. Where do they usually travel? Where do they usually travel? Very good. Where do they usually travel? Where do they usually travel? Number nine. Richard is a teacher. He teaches. What does Richard is? Not exactly. Cambiere la última palabra. What does Richard do for a living? Okay. What does Richard do? Ahí nos podemos quedar. ¿A qué se dedica Richard? Pero también lo podemos decir como dijo la compañera. What does Richard do for a living? ¿Qué hace él para ganarse la vida? So, what does Richard do? Richard. He teaches. What does Richard do? He teaches. He teaches. He teaches. He teaches. Ajá. Entonces, ¿cómo le va a preguntar a usted a alguien, usted a qué se dedica? What do you do? 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 Yeah. What do you do? I'm a police officer. I'm a I lawyer. I'm a teacher. I'm an accountant. I'm a, teacher, an accountant. I'm a taxi driver. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Ajá. Ahí está preguntándole la persona. ¿Qué hace usted? ¿A qué yes. se dedica? What do you do? Yes. Shopping. Okay. Number 10. This bus goes to the shopping mall. Este bus va al centro comercial. Where... Where does this Where? bus go? Very good. Where, Where does this bus go? Where does go? Where, Where does, does go? this bus go? This bus go. Where does this go? Where does this bus go? Where does this go? Where does this bus go? Uh -huh. Where does this bus go? Exactly. Where does this bus go? Si usted está, digamos, usted está un poquito desubicado, desubicado, desubicada, y no sabe para dónde va X ruta de bus, usted le pregunta al motorista, Where does this bus go? What this bus go? Where does where does this bus go? Aha, where does this bus go? Where where does this bus go? Aha, where does this bus go? Where does this bus bus go? Aha, ya suena como trabalengua, ma. Where does this bus go? Where where does, does this bus go? Ajá. Ahorita va en el chat del WhatsApp. Fíjese cómo dice. Where does this bus go? Where does this bus go? Where does this bus go? Where does this where does this bus go? Exactly. Where does this bus go? Where does this bus go? Where does this bus go? Si de otra manera no se puede decir. Ah, le puede preguntar directamente al al motorista, decirle Where are you going? ¿A dónde va? Where are you going? Where is it going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Exactly. Where are you going? ¿Para dónde va? Y es cierto que le está haciendo la, la, la pregunta directamente al motorista, pero él sabe que se está refiriendo a la ruta del bus. Where are you going? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Where does this bus go? Where, Where does this bus go? Where does this bus go? Yeah. Where are you going? Yeah, yeah. 
Aquí en El Salvador por ley tiene que preguntar antes de subirse al bus. Mire, ¿para dónde va este bus? Ok. Any questions there? Preguntas con este ejercicio. Where, that is... Where, Where does this bus go? Where does Shopping this bus go? Ajá. Uh -huh. Where does Shopping this bus go? Where does this bus go? Y le responde el motorista, this bus goes to the shopping mall. This bus goes to the shopping mall. Exactly. Do you like shopping? Yes, Where I does this bus go? Shopping mall. Where are you going? Mm -hmm. Do you like shopping? I like shopping. I like shopping. Sure. I think that everybody likes shopping. Everybody likes shopping. Everybody likes shopping. Small, ¿Qué significa? Eh, centro comercial. Solamente sí. Sí, shopping mall. Y también le puede quitar, le puede quitar la palabra shopping, solamente deja mall y ahí está diciendo centro comercial. So you can say shopping mall, you can say also shopping center. Es lo mismo. Yes. Any questions? Preguntas? Are we okay with this document? Estamos bien con este documento? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Después se lo voy a enviar para que usted con papel y lápiz eh, haga las preguntas en, en su cuaderno. Okay, so let me get this here. Uh -huh. We close it. Uh -huh. Let's see, give me a second. Uh -huh. Let me see this here. Where is this? Okay. Give me one second. Estoy buscando la, lo que quiero compartirles. Did you have dinner? Yes, I have dinner. Good. Did, yes. Is it a, a, a big dinner or a light dinner? Light dinner. Light. Light. Okay, light dinner. Okay, let me put this here. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, let me check this. Okay, here we go. Okay, share. Uh, uh. Uh, okay, do you see the image? Yes. Okay. What is the name of the image? Job profiles. Job profiles. What is the meaning of profile? Perfiles. Perfiles, yes. Perfiles del trabajo, del empleo. Okay, how many different occupations do you see? Four. Actress. Four is correct. What is the first one? Actress. Actress. Number two? Video game. Video game. Tester. 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 Uh, what about number three? 
Dog walker. Dog walker. Dog walker. And the last one? Teacher. Teacher. Okay. So we have the first profile. Tamara, can you hear me? Tamara, me escucha? Okay, can you please read the first part? Okay, Lisa Parker has two jobs. Mm -hmm. She works as a waitress. Waitress? Waitress? Uh huh. At night. But she really an actress during the day. Mm -hmm. She auditioned for plays and television shows. Yes. Her schedule is difficult and she's tired a lot. Good. But she's following her dream. Perfect, thank you. Any questions about pronunciation or meaning? La palabra play en este escenario significa obra, obras teatrales. Any questions there? Preguntas? No. Children. Delay. During. During. Okay. Eric, can you hear me? Eric? Hola, hola. Okay, Eric Estrada, please read number two, video game tester. Um, video game tester. Mm -hmm. Lots of China girls want to lose jokes. He play video games for eight hours a day and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. It is it every boring Never. John Almost always win. Very good. Thank you. Any questions there about vocabulary or pronunciation? Teenager. Um, where? Jóvenes. Oh, teenagers. Adolescentes. Teenager. Yeah, teenagers, adolescentes. So, dice, muchos adolescentes quieren el empleo de John Blue. Uh -huh. Él juega videos ocho horas al día y le pagan por ello. Él, él, él lo que hace es revisa eh, los, los juegos de video para una compañía grande. Is it ever boring? Pregunta ahí. Aburrido. Alguna vez es aburrido y le dice nunca. En especial porque John casi siempre gana. gana. Uh -huh. Almost. La palabra almost significa casi. Siempre. Casi. Casi. Almost is casi. Yes. Casi always win. John almost it's always it's win. win. John casi siempre gana. Con más razón no se va a aburrir. Ok, any questions there? ¿Estamos bien en el segundo? Eh, ¿Qué significa la palabra tester? Es, es alguien que está probando cómo está el video, el juego del video en este caso. Pero tester es toda aquella persona que se le puede decir que está en calidad, verificando oh. que todo está de acuerdo como debe de ser. Yes. Okay. yes. Any other questions? Alguien más? I have a question, teacher. Uh, the word um, he get a, a pint for yeah, it. He, he gets paid for it. He gets paid for it. Uh huh. He gets paid A él le pagan por hacerlo. A él le pagan. La palabra pagar es get paid. 
No. El la, pay. Pala la, la palabra pagar es pay. P-A-Y. Pero cuando usted quiere decir a él le pagan, usted dice he gets paid. Si yo, si yo le quiero decir, a mí me pagan mañana, yo le digo, I get paid tomorrow. I get paid tomorrow. Pero, pero en sí, teacher, el, el, la parte que dice get, que ha de ser un verbo. Ese get, a medida que ustedes es, eh, eh, continúan estudiando el idioma, ese get tiene Auxiliar. infinitas funciones. Entre esas, esa que acabamos de ver, que dice, a él le pagan, a mí me pagan, a nosotros nos pagan. Siempre va a tener que poner get paid. Is it clear? ¿Estamos bien? Yes. Ok. Ok, Gloria, please read number three. Dog walker. Gloria. Gloria. Okay, Felipe, can you please read? Dog walker. Yes. Becky Pink walks in the park every day for many hours. Rain or shine? Rain or shine. Shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Exactly, very good. Any questions there? Preguntas? No. No. No question. Okay, very good. Ovidio, please read number four. Number four is Doug Walker. No, teacher. No, teacher. <clears throat> um, Carlos Ruiz is a busy, busy. busy man. He plans lessons. Great days on work. Uh -huh. Helps with after school activities and of the course he teaches he teaches he teaches his salary isn't great but that's okay but that's okay his student like his class so her happy he's happy he's happy very good thank you video Okay, uh, any questions about Carlos Ruiz? Carlos Ruiz is, is a man. Is a Carlos Ruiz is a man. ¿Qué dice ahí? Ocupado. Ocupado, exactly. Busy. Sí, ahí. Yo sé que homework, grado o algo así. No, he plans lessons, grades, Homework. Dice, él planea sus lecciones y le pone nota a las tareas. Mm, 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 Grades, sí, en sí, este sí. caso, significa poner notas o calificar. Ah, ok. Grades homework. Le pone nota a las tareas, califica tareas. Por lo que mal pagado. Yup. <risa> Helps with after-school activities, and of course, he teaches. Yes. His salary isn't great. Ajá, uh -huh. su salario no es tan bueno, dice, pero está bien, dice. No como uh, corporativo. Huh? <laughs> no, no lo oí. No como en inglés corporativo, dice. Ah, pues sí, pues usted sabe. <laughs> está bien, está bien. La, la élite. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions here? Preguntas. No? Okay. All right. So this is um, 
what we have in terms of um, occupations, professions. Y vamos a hacer de caso que este último de aquí que les voy a enseñar es un examen individual. ¿Ven la imagen? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Ok. Ya se pixeló esto. Ok. Number one. What is the answer for number one? B. Letter B. Letter B. Where do you live? Mm -hmm. I live in Mexico City. Number two. He does not know. No, no. Out of how does Michael get to work? Yes, letter C is the answer. What about number three? Let's see. How old are you? Yes. How old are you? ¿Qué edad tiene usted? Le pregunta. I am 33. Okay, alguien dijo 33. Vamos a ver. Todos vamos a responder esa pregunta en el chat de WhatsApp. Ahí voy yo. 48. Uh, How old are you? 38. 33. 33. 33. 33. So, solo dos habemos en la, en la ah, no, solo tres, ve. Ah, ándale. 48, 33, 46. And so on. Okay, ahí vamos a dejar esa pregunta entonces ahí mejor. Okay, what about number four? Letter A. What is that? Letter A is correct. What is that? It's a butterfly. Butterfly. Yes. What about number five? Where? Where is my cell phone? Very good. Where is my cell phone? I think I saw it on the table. I think I saw it on the table. ¿Qué le responde ahí? Pienso que lo vi en la mesa. mesa. Exacto. Creo que lo vi en la mesa. Very good. What about number six? Letter B. What do cows eat? ¿Qué le preguntan ahí? ¿Qué comen las vacas? They eat grass. And they eat grass. Se le dice ellas comen monte pasto. o pasto, sí. Grass. Grass. Y yeah, grass es la manera así bien general de decir monte. Number seven. Letter B. Letter B. Your best friend. Very good. Who is your best friend? Sofia is my best friend. Number eight. Letter A. When do you when do usually you... get up? When do you usually get up? Very good. Letter A is correct. Number nine. What is your name? Letter A. What is your name? My name is Stuart. Number 10. Where did you stay home? Oh. One more time. Why did you stay home? Yes. Why did no. you stay home? ¿Qué le pregunta ahí? ¿Por qué te quedaste en casa? Y le responde, I felt sick. Me sentí enfermo. Me sentí enfermo. What about 11? What day is it? What day is it? Very good. What day is it? It's Monday. <coughs> what about number 12? Um, when... 
When can I start work? No, uh -huh. let it be. When can I start work? Yes. Okay, so the answer is letter B. La numero 13. Letter C. What time is it? Letter what C. time is it? Very good. What about number 14? Why? Letter Why? A. Why, Why are you late? Why are you late? Car is broken now. What about 15? Letter A. Letter A is correct. Where, Where are, are you at? Very you good. Back? And the last one? How are you today? Letter A. How are you today? How are you? Letter A. Very good. Alguna pregunta antes de quitarle la imagen de ahí? No. Everything is clear? La va a mandar por WhatsApp? Yes. I will okay. send it to the WhatsApp chat. Yes. Okay, thank you. Sure. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't have any more questions, we will continue tomorrow. Same place, same time. Any questions? Preguntas? No questions, teacher. No okay. questions. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Have a good night, Bye-bye. Bye-bye.